everyone and welcome back to my channel we are going to be doing a mini first impression when I say a mini first impression I mean that I have tried product but I've not had it on long enough to give you my final review of the product so the product today we're gonna to be talking about is the new makeup forever water blend foundation I know I said that with like a kind of steepness this is their newest foundation it is kind of a reformulation of their old face and body foundation this kind of foundation is a sheer to light coverage I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about this new formula so this they said it's a beautiful lightweight formula that gives you a flawless and dewy finish and it is available in 20 shades this foundation has 80% of purified water it also has vitamin b5 that provides hydration and improves the skin elasticity it's also waterproof and transfer proof so that's a good thing and they said that this is a gel like texture that makes it easy to apply so we're gonna like test this whole thing out i did apply it with a beauty blender and i did have the best results so this time around i'm gonna be using a, a regular foundation brush so with the beauty blender i felt like i was applying so much product so i'm gonna try it a different way so this is why it's like a take two of my first impression with it i actually have three shades of this um i have a shade from the lightest the shade the lightest shade is going to be y445 this is how it looks like it's the lightest shade from the bunch and then the next shade up is y55 this is my shade actually and then the last shade i have is y505 the shade we're going to be using is the middle shade of course and um i normally when i use this foundation i want to shake it up a little bit because since it's water based i feel like it separates a little bit so shaking it up should help the ingredients mix up really well and i'm just going to start out with one pump and this is how one pump looks like so i'm just going to first dot the foundation all over my face by the way i've also used makeup forever step one equalizing primers in smoothening and in mattifying so i've used those two on my face i use the mattifying on my t-zone right here and then i use the smoothening all over my face as i said I, we're just gonna dot the foundation and the brush i'm using today is going to be the luxie round top buffing brush i just want to see if it makes a difference from using the beauty blender because i feel beauty blender actually sucks up so much product so now we're gonna take the beauty blender and i'm just gonna start from inward so with this foundation i don't expect it to give me covered it just claims to even out the skin tone it doesn't really claim anything about giving you like super coverage so if you're the kind of person that actually has a lot of acne stuff acne scarring i would not use this foundation i would use something with more full coverage like their hd foundation so this is for people with almost perfect skin or near perfect so not saying that my skin is perfect but you know I can still get away with it as you guys can see this foundation one layer is really light coverage it just practically evens out some of my minimal scarring like some of the scarring that I have that's really dark it still shows through um, a little redness for my acne um, my mustache shows and that is the case whenever I use foundation literally I always color correct my mustache area because it literally shows and I do shave it off because I have hair on there but it has like a little like this coloration that I actually am trying to get rid of so right now I'm actually gonna go with a second pop so I'm just gonna go with one more layer and see how the coverage is with the one more layer so we're just gonna go back with the brush and blend it out like so this is two pumps two pumps actually does tweak up the coverage a little bit but it's still like skin so this foundation is not as i told you again it's not full coverage whatsoever so it just basically up amps up the coverage and it makes it look like like i'm not wearing anything but my skin looks a little bit flawless like normally the way i do my foundation regardless of what foundation i use i always set regardless with a powder because i am combination oily skin so regardless of what foundation it is i always want to set and since this is a dewy foundation i will still set it and make sure that my oils are intact i'm gonna highlight and i'm gonna contour and everything so once i'm done with my face i'll be right back and i'll show you the overall results so hey guys i'm officially back 
um, I'm back with my full face done when I initially applied the foundation on I forgot to state the time that I did it was actually 2 45 p.m. now it's 3 45 it took me literally an hour to do my makeup because I have to take care of my kids but now I'm gonna show you how the finish looks like the foundation looks really really good of course you guys can still see where areas of my skin that you can see under because it's not a full coverage it did not state it was a full coverage foundation I apply concealer I set my concealer with the Sasha Buttercup powder and then I also uh, used the black opal translucent loose powder in medium all over my face and that is just to mattify some areas the foundation is a dewy finish and of course my neighbor decides that he wants to mow his lawn right now so you can probably hear that in the background sorry about that so I did notice that the foundation was a little dewy of course it stated that the foundation was dewy when I applied everything everything looks a little bit semi matte so right now I'm gonna leave you guys and I will be back at maybe 8-ish or 7-ish just so you guys can see an update of how the foundation has been wearing hey guys I'm officially back it's been like seven hours like I I'm coming back at 9:33. right now I'm gonna tell you a little bit of how the foundation looks like right now it actually looks quite good I didn't have high expectations because when I originally tried this foundation I had it on for an hour and I took it right off it had nothing to do with the foundation initially it was just that I did a quick video and I just wanted the foundation on for the video but now I can see the actual wear time and I'm really really impressed it lasted for seven hours um, it did say that it was transfer transfer proof I actually want to test that I'm gonna just take something out of this like this white thing I'm gonna cut it out and I'm gonna literally put it on here because I didn't apply too much powder so yeah if it comes off to be honest I believe it's the black opal powder but if you guys look at it it's hardly anything on the paper there's a little smudge there but it's probably from the black opal powder that I put on my face but really I really am impressed with this foundation it does claim to be sweat proof and waterproof it is I did work out for 30 minutes and the foundation held up I did sweat of course but as soon as my skin dried it went back to the normal way it was on my face um, I did I didn't have any gathering around my nose I didn't have any gathering in my mouth area everything looks intact I'm surprised the only thing I see is a little bit of rubbing right here in the center of my contour and then I also have a little rubbing on my forehead that's it so now who is this foundation for this foundation is for people that are loving the no makeup look people that don't like full-on coverage that have near to perfect skin that want that no makeup look and still look like their skin is flawless so that's what this foundation is geared towards if you have a lot of scarring on your face a lot of massive scarring acne and everything this foundation will not do justice for you at all stay clear from this foundation because when they say it's a light coverage it is a light coverage and it's nowhere even if you build it up as you guys saw in a demo it still is light coverage it's not gonna cover heavy scarring even my little scarring it didn't cover it up and if you have oily skin I think I will still recommend this for you because um, I would say if you have combo it will be better but if you have oily you might want to stay clear of it because it is a dewy foundation so with me being combination I can get away with it because certain parts of my face are dry and certain parts of my face are oil so that's a good thing and another thing I'll say the price of this is actually $43 right now it's available at the makeup forever boutique you can also find it at makeupforever.com and already it's already available at sephora.com in stores it would be available on August 5th just so you guys know so if you guys are looking for ways to purchase this item those are the places you can find it so overall if I was to rate this product I would give it a 8.5 um, my cons my real cons about this product is that um, it's not as beautiful as I thought it would be um, you literally if you were gonna build it to like somewhat of a medium coverage you have to use at least three pumps or three and a half pumps and number two there's a little separation in the ingredients so I feel like I have to shake it to use it and number three is that you have to literally wait for it to set before you apply a second layer so those are my real cons and the price is probably one of the biggest cons of course Makeup Forever is a high-end brand but I feel like the price on this is a little bit steep 
like I feel like it should be lowered a little bit to somewhat of what the Mac charges for their face and body because I know Mac has a face and body as well but theirs is like 20 something dollars when this is like 43 that's it guys that's it for my review if you guys really really enjoyed my honest review of this foundation please make sure you hit that like button and also if you are new to my channel and you see me for the first time and you want to see more videos make sure you click that subscribe button that's going to be right here thank you guys again for watching and your love and support i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye